Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to introduce the concept of hydrostatic forces and to solve hydrostatic force um, on a submerged plate. So the concept of hydrostatic forces, we have two branches of fluid mechanics generally. We've got hydrostatics and hydrodynamics. Um, in hydrostatics, which is what we're going to be looking at here, uh, basically the water is still. So there's no shear force on the water. And that means that um, the only pressures that we're ever dealing with are going to be um, from, no, the only, only forces we're going to be dealing with are going to be from pressures, not from shear forces. So uh, with that in mind, we'll just have a look at um, just this uh, we've got right here. So we have a tank and it's been filled with water. And basically what's happening to the walls of um, this structure is they're experiencing um, hydrostatic forces. So this water is not moving, but it's still exerting um, forces on the outside of the plate, which are, um, which are also represented as pressures. So basically these, these forces, they're going to be um, proportional to the depth of water, which makes sense. Um, you might see on your, on your watch or something that you have a uh, maximum uh, diving depth before your watch will break. And that's because as you go deeper, you, um, the pressure on the watch becomes larger. And that's because there's more water above um, you that is sort of pressing the watch. So if I were to draw in um, the forces at, at the water level, there wouldn't be any hydrostatic pressure or any hydrostatic forces on the, um, on the outside of the container. But as we go 